Hey, did the two leaders succeed in lowering tensions? Um, you know, I'll say, I'll say this. Let me just share a little bit about what they covered, the, the three issues that they covered. Um, again, this was a straightforward um, uh, conversation that they had. They've had a relationship for many decades. This is the fifth call uh, that the president has had uh, with President Xi. They wanted to make sure that they continued the dialogues, kept the uh, open, uh, open lines for conversation, and that's what we saw today. Uh, again, it was a more than a two-hour call. Uh, but I'll share a little bit of what they covered. Uh, the first was a detailed discussion of areas where the two countries can work together, uh, with particular focus on climate change and health security and counter, and counter nar narcotics. The two teams will be following up on these areas. President Biden also raised the need to resolve the cases of American citizens who are wrongfully detained or subject to exit bans in China, as well as longstanding concerns about human rights. Second, they exchange views on Russia's war in Ukraine and the global impacts it is having. And then on Taiwan, uh, President Biden underscored that the United States policy has not changed and that the United States strongly opposes unilateral efforts to change the status quo or undermine peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. President Biden also raised the need to resolve the cases of American citizens who are wrongly detained or subject to ex exit bans in China, as well as longstanding concerns about human rights. So those are the three uh, components that they, they, they discussed. We were told they, they discussed the possibility of a face-to-face -face summit meeting. Is that something you'd like to do before the end of the year? Is there any sort of time frame on that? Uh, we don't have anything on the president's schedule to, to share. Uh, as you know, and I just stated this, the president um, really, truly appreciates a leader-to-leader -leader, uh, interaction. Uh, he's been a senator. He's been a vice president. He knows, uh, and now president, uh, he knows the importance of having that. I, I don't have anything to share more than that. Just one more on that call, yeah, sure. um, on President Biden raising, you said, long-standing concerns about human rights with President Xi. Can you tell us anything more about that specific portion of the call, <coughs> and specifically whether he raised the issue of the treatment of Uyghurs in the Xinjiang region? So I can tell you that uh, he raised um, uh, genocide and forced labor practices uh, by the P PRC. That is something that he raised. Um, and he, uh, about the human rights, as he always does. This is, uh, as we've said, that any time the president has an opportunity, he raises that when he meets uh, with another leader and called on PRC to seize its ongoing human rights abuses uh, across China. Can you tell us a little bit about how President Xi responded to that? Um, they would have to respond uh, on their own. I cannot speak for, for President Xi.